All right, take a look at that forecast here for the next 24 hours or so. Looking quite wet. If you have any evening overnight plans, have the rain gear handy and allow enough extra time to get where you're going because that soaking rain is going to continue with us here for the next several hours. We're tracking a few spotty showers across uh, really the metro area and off towards the north and east up I-95 in Hartford and Cecil County. The steadier rain is still just off to our south. You can see from Haver to Grace up towards Elkton, some spotty showers there back into western Howard County. Woodstock to West Friendship back towards Glen L. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to be dealing with here for the next few hours. Kind of a spotty rain for the next couple of hours, and then the steadier rain will come in later tonight. It looks like we're going to start to dry things out, though, to close out the work week, even though we'll still have a slight chance for some showers around on Thursday. Looks like as we get towards Friday, mainly dry, and then more rain coming in for Preakness. Temps in the 60s right now, and it looks like we'll stay in the 60s here through the overnight hours, some upper 50s, but steady soaking rain is going to be the MO here overnight tonight as we watch this large shield of rain spread its way northward across the region. Futurecast shows all this green on the map. That's more rain that's going to be coming in late tonight into tomorrow morning. We will see the rain taper off by late morning afternoon tomorrow. That doesn't mean it's going to go away altogether, but there will still be some spotty showers even tomorrow afternoon wrapping around the backside of this storm system. So just plan on that. It won't be steady like it is right now. Saturday, uh, I should say Thursday, a few isolated showers. Friday looks dry. Then Saturday looks like the wet weather makes its return to the area, and that's where we're going to be dealing with that coming up on Preakness. So here's a look at your forecast for tomorrow. 65. Highest rain chances in the morning, although we'll have a straight shower continuing into the afternoon tomorrow. Thursday, 72, 75 coming up on Friday. Friday actually looks to be the better of the two days at Pimlico, but as we take a look at the forecast on Saturday for the Preakness Stakes, we're looking at temperatures into the low to mid 60s, east wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, just wet. Pretty much all day long. Friday right now looks dry, just cloudy. Then the rain chances will continue into Sunday morning and then they'll taper off in the afternoon. But next week, actually, at this point, looks like it'll start off dry with temperatures into the upper 70s, around 80, before more rain moves in late next week. We'll be right back.